as you can see, it is an absolutely beautiful day outside. And I've got to be in here in the house getting ready because we are doing a date night tonight, me and my wife. Date night. It's been a long time. I'm excited and it's a surprise as to where we're going so I can't even tell you where we're going because I don't know. I have no clue. But, uh, let me hurry up and get ready. And voila. I'm ready. I am ready, I think, to be seen in public. Oh, and you know how tonight's dinner is a surprise? Well, I've got a little surprise of my own. My hot pink argyle socks. By the way, everybody, before we leave the house, let me please request that everybody give a big thumbs up and a like on this video because in tribute to my wife because it is not easy or fun for her to have to go out in public with a goofball like me. So we are actually traveling on the back road countryside roads to get to the surprise because there was a little detour uptown. But that's okay. It'll just make the food taste better when we get there. So it is very obvious to me that we have arrived at where we are dining. Nope, not going here. We're not going here? I'm just kidding. Oh, apparently we're going to Speedway, the gas station. But no, we had to do a little leapfrog from one parking lot to the next to come over here. Yes. Leapfrogging. And now we are parked. So it will be just a few moments and you'll see where we're eating tonight. This is just a quick look-see at the surrounding, the surrounding atmosphere of this place. And it is not quite as beautiful as on the inside. Wolfie's Grill, that is where we are eating tonight. We have just stepped inside I'm going to show you the front lobby here. It looks pretty nice. It does look pretty nice indeed in here. Except for the, the taped arrows on the floor. So apparently we're going downstairs to be seated in the bar. So this will be interesting. And it is still pretty nice looking in here. Uh, on that end, it's fine if you want. Running through this real fast, here's a quick glance at the menu at Wolfie's Grill. We both shared an appetizer. They were Thai glazed chicken skewers. Minor complaint, the chicken was just a little tiny bit dry, but other than that, the sauce, the glaze made up for that. And so those were absolutely delicious. We both had three each. Uh, second, I got the French onion soup, which was supposed to come out with our before my dinner, but because it was so busy there that night, it actually came out right with the dinner, but that's okay. No big problems. Our waitress's name was Ashlyn. She was extremely nice, extremely friendly, and I had to make a request to have one of the TV channels changed, and she got right on that and got that done for me. So five star out of five stars for Ashlyn, our waitress that night. Here's a photo of the drink that my wife got. I. It's something to do with a mule, but I cannot remember what it was called at this moment. I guess I, well, no, I can't look at it on the menu because it was on a separate menu that you ordered drinks from. I'm sorry about that, but moving on to the next thing, my wife got the salmon. It had a, oh, basil butter spread on it, I think, I think it was, and she got the mashed potatoes with that. And the mac and cheese, which I will say the mac and cheese is absolutely the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life. Following up on that, I got the mango. I got the mango mahi-mahi. 
And I actually would have to say I think I preferred the salmon over the mahi mahi, but that's just because if you didn't have a bite of mango, it was a little bland. But on the, my sides, I've got soy glazed Brussels sprouts, which were absolutely incredible. And my other side was jalapeno cream corn, which was absolutely amazing. I would recommend this restaurant. For me, it gets an, an 8 out of 10. We had a great time, great people, friendly atmosphere. The only complaint that I could have about the restaurant as a whole is at the end of the bar, there was this rude gentleman just staring at our table the entire meal. I mean literally just glaring at our table. But other than that, it's 8 out of 10 stars. Good job, Wolfies. So yes, as it turns out, Wolfie's Grill is where, it's backwards, is where we ate dinner tonight. And oh my goodness, it is absolutely delicious. I just wanted to document a good quick shot of this sunset we've got going on here as we head to our next and final destination. So for the last stop of the evening, we have come to Birdie's uh, Bar and Grill, Miniature Golf, I don't know. It doesn't say anything on the sign. Birdie's. But take a looky here. This is some interesting miniature golf. I don't know how recent or how new this place is, but we saw it on our way in, so we decided to stop so we could play. It goes up pretty high, so we could play some miniature golf. So, since that's what I'm getting ready to do, 18 holes, I'm going to enjoy a game of mini golf with my wife. And that will be the end of this video. This is WDW Days, and I will catch you in the next one. That must be the bank vaults if you want to eat inside the bank.